Is he the Captain America? Oh, 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 Sounds like you need more frames, bro. Here, a new CPU from Intel. Wow. You died again. I didn't even laugh. <laughs> hey, we're gonna have an upgrade. Remember this video? Ha ha ha! No cuts. Oh, ho, ho, ho. look at this. Remember when we did an upgrade? Oh, no, that's the script. That's not the script. Remember when we did an upgrade with Intel with these two people's PC? Mm -hmm. Okay? So, what we have is Ian's old PC, you know, the 8th gen processor. Oh, sorry, the 8th gen i7 processor. And uh, we did have an upgrade of a graphics card, with this, which is the RTX 3060 Ti. And it seems that we're kind of bottlenecked with the processor because it's an old gen processor. So what we're gonna do right now is we are gonna grab ooh, the old uh, Niels PC since Ian's using the old upgraded PC that he have, which is the i5 10th gen. So Intel sponsored us with i7 1700K. Okay. So we're gonna do some jump cuts. Uh, I'll be installing this uh, CPU. And uh, look at that. What? This is something new. This this is nice. This is colored. Yo, -ho -ho. it's not silver anymore. And it's dead. I mean, that pretty much that's it. It's in the box. And uh, we're gonna see what's gonna happen. Nice. All right. So you might be asking. Well, as you can see, we did that. Uh, we kind of upgraded. We took the old PC as well. Not really old, but it was. We took Neil's PC. Okay. We uh, zombified it. So what we're using right now would be the Intel uh, 10th Gen i7, 10700, non K. Because the motherboard is uh, non-Z, okay, so it's not overclockable. Uh, 3060 Ti and as well as the RAMs, it's uh, 32 gigs of T4s RAM. So what we're gonna showcase right now is how we upgraded from our bottleneck Intel processor before that was an 8th gen to a one-year-old 10th gen. You know, because Stocks is really hard right now, and since uh, Intel did sponsor us right now, it's kind of nice, you know, to have a stock that is there. You can buy it. It's on stores. SRP will be in the description of the video. Why did we go for Intel as well? Well, of course, it's the motherboard that we have, and we've been using Intel ever since. Alongside, you know, uh, it's kind of hard, you know, 
uh, you're working at least at nandito mga Meralco boys out of nowhere. We, we went for an i7, which is, uh, you know, has eight cores, 16 threads, and it only has 65 watt TDP, which is really nice compared to something else. Tipid sa kuryente. You know, because most of the time, you'll be here in front of your computer at this time. You're playing games. Oh my goodness, and look at this. We, we did nothing to the settings. Ray tracing was on as well earlier. And uh, actually, it's kind of marshmallow as you can see because we just installed the new system. Uh, we haven't loaded everything properly yet in the cards, but definite upgrade in the frames. Same settings, okay? Just motherboard and processor change. Oh boy. From 110, 100 to 110. Average FPS earlier, and that's on a good place. Right now, we're on a crowded place, which has extras are, are loading fast as well. This is actually really fast, you know, because we installed everything. And. Oh my god. Nice. That, that is really nice. We were averaging 130, 120. Please do not kill me. We're doing a test here. Okay, I'm going to play some sound. No, friend, no. Damn, bro. All right. Just kill that guy. Shout out to you, guy, whoever that guy is. Oh, that was quick as well. Even shifting from 1,900 frames. I mean, we're not a game yet, though. 1,900 frames, bro. So, as you can see, you may be one year old, but the technology is still there compared to what we had before. 8th gen processor being bottlenecked, or rather the 3060 Ti being bottlenecked by the 8th gen processor. It's, it's a really nice upgrade. The snappiness is nice. We're ancient gods and I'm gonna die because it's doomed. But then again, the loading power, it's already loaded. I couldn't even finish what I was gonna say. This is nice. Everything is nice. Upgrading from 8th gen to 10th gen gave us extreme, not really extreme, but more snappiness to the system because we can up, we, up, we were able to upgrade the RAM as well to at least 2933 or whatever is the highest. Okay, so we now have 2933. We're maximizing the motherboard and the capability of the processor and we were able to go up to 2933 on DDR432 gigs before because last time what we were using only on the 8th gen was 2266 megahertz. Oh my god. Yeah, that's what we were using before. So right now we're at 2933, which is, you yeah, see, quick without saving. We didn't do anything right now. And pretty much it's a big upgrade. Uh, if you're using an old kind of processor and motherboard, and you can max out more frames because. It's not bottlenecked anymore, especially if you're one of those people who are able to luckily purchase an RTX card. This is a feature video. It's not a review video. If you want a review video, we have friends there. We have Back to Gaming, Gadget Filipinas, Jam Online. We have those people there. Okay, they do in-depth reviews of this. What well, we're here, we're we're here to entertain you people, and of course, we want to show you what's gonna be a uh, uh live purchase upgrade or something whatever it is called you know because we're here to see what it will do to actually as you, as you saw here it booted pretty fast it's 
So the SSD, but it wasn't that quick before as well. You want me to load the game? Mm hmm. Sure. You want me to do it again? I already did. <laughs> okay. But, yeah, I mean. But there, but there being image. <laughs> <laughs> What's funny? I was asking though. Why it's this fast now? You know? I, I, I only want to play games now because it's really snappy. I don't want to work with this, you know? Most of the time I'll be doing emails and uh, it's fast, but it's for gaming, you know? I want, I want to play. Should, should I play? Yes. More Intel things to come or features to come with the whole gang. Thank you, Intel.